All right, what's going on everybody? I just wanted to make this quick video on what OBS settings I use for when I do my streams. Now I get a lot of people coming to me asking me what equipment I use or what my settings are for OBS and everything. And it can be kind of tricky figuring out which to use, especially if you're like me and you don't have a really great computer. You know, I have a HP Pavilion desktop. It's got an i3 processor and only eight gigs of RAM. It's really not that great at all. But if you look into it and try to find out what kind of computer you need to actually stream like video games on YouTube or Twitch or whatever people will tell you you need a really good computer and that's just not true so I just figured I would make a quick video go through my settings what I use what's worked for me and pretty much the settings that I use that allow me to stream high quality content on YouTube so I'm gonna pull up my settings here so you guys can see them now this is just general tab i didn't change anything here this is just default stuff so you don't gotta worry about that you can change your theme if you want but i don't i just like white so now this is where you put in your where you stream so if you're gonna do on twitch you would put that to twitch and then put in your streamer code that you get from your whichever platform you use um so this right here is my uh output I do have it on advanced and for this I actually use this is my graphics card and it makes a big difference through quick sync instead of just the times 264 for me and then from here I uh, click enforce streaming service encoder settings pretty much keeps it consistent when you're streaming and then I stream in 1080p uh, target usage, I keep that at balance, profile main, keyframe interval, keep that at three. Um, adapt for CBR, it's important to change this to CBR if it's not already. And then bitrate, this you kind of have to tinker with. For me, I have 4800 is fine. I think the default is like 2500. Pretty much the better the computer you have, the higher bitrate you can go to. If you don't have a great computer, I would stick around like four to 5000 personally. Um, recording um, I keep it on standard I don't do much recording this is just where you want your videos to save recording format change it to, change it to mp4 that's your basic video file format uh, I use the same encoder as my stream and then I rescale my output to 1080p and it's important to use the same um, base canvas as your output so your computer doesn't have to do work to rescale or upscale your resolution that's just more work that you don't need and my audio i just the only thing i changed here was 48 here because of this mic it actually runs on 48 and if you don't know then you could just like go in your computer settings and click on the properties for your mic or whatever equipment to see what it uses and it should tell you if it uses 44 or 48 so that's all i did there um bilinear that's important this is the fastest way to downscale your video if you are going to downscale it to say uh, 720 or something um, and then I do 60 frames per second that's pretty basic for video games at least um, I don't use any hotkeys or anything like that and another reminder when you're scrolling through these settings it's important to not to use your scroll wheel because it'll actually change settings if you do that and mess it all up so it's important just to manually just drag it up and down uh, for advanced, I keep my process priority at normal. If you put it above normal or high, for me, when I'm streaming, I'm always opening up new windows and looking at my chat and everything. So pretty much my computer is going to focus on both my stream and other things I'm doing on my computer at the same time. If you put my the process above normal or high, it's pretty much going to use all its energy to focus on your stream not really other windows or anything like that so that's what I use um, if you have a better computer you can put it up a little higher but yeah um, audio this is I didn't mess with any of this really um, this is if you want to add stream delay which I do so I don't get stream sniped uh, I did it on the list I just do one second just to give me like a second head start from people um, Auto reconnect, I have that enabled. Retry, I have it at five seconds in case your computer crashes for a second or OBS crashes. That does happen quite a bit. Um, yeah, so I just retry five five seconds. 
Um, and then maximum retries, that's standard 20. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now this is assuming that you use, or you are streaming on like a console, right? You're not using a computer to play video games. You're streaming through some sort of capture card, like an Elgato is what I use. And um, yeah. So this is kind of the settings that I use. I stream on Xbox, I use an Xbox. I pretty much bring it over. This is the, and uh, yeah, so I pretty much, this is what I use to stream, right? So I have my Elgato, this is how I get my gameplay. And as you can see, I have a ticker, I have, you know, a banner, sub count, I have all that stuff. So it settings work well for me. And I will have another tip. Um, transition scenes, have not cut instead of fade. Um, if you want it to look nice, I guess you could do fade, but if you don't really care about transitions, which is pretty much when you transfer from like this to this, right? Um, it just cuts right. If you have it to fade, it'll use up more like uh, CPU space and RAM and everything. So it's not really worth having. Helps me though. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Those are my settings I use. Hopefully this helps. I mean, it helps me a lot. My computer runs pretty smooth. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I have good uh, good streams and everything. So hopefully this helped. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful, make sure to leave a comment if it helped you. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. As I said, I stream almost every day. So stop by one of these times, all right? Thanks. Peace.